Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I have a super exciting video for you guys today. I've got my hands on some new Kiki K stuff. I took advantage of the, um, if you spend over $50, you got 20% off. I think that's how it works. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, and then you had free postage if you spent over $50. So you'll see what I bought in a second. Um, but basically, I think I saved for $14 or $15 plus postage. So I'm very happy with this. Um, this is the first time I've ever bought from Kiki K online. So usually I go to the stores. Um, I wasn't going to get to a store while they had the 50%, the 20% off. And I definitely wasn't going, they wouldn't have the stuff I bought in store before the 20% ran out. So I just decided to buy online, give it a shot, and I will let you know what I think. Um, so I bought this last Friday. Now, today is Thursday. I'm hoping this video will go up today, otherwise it will go up on Good Friday. So it's not too far away. But basically it took a week, just less than a week to get to me. Um, I live in Queensland, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and open this. Sorry, I'm really excited. This is really, really terrible. Um, so I'm just opening her up. Oh, bubbles! Ooh, bubbles. So basically half the box is filled with bubbles. <laughs> I love that. That's good. So we'll put all the packaging off to the side. Oh, look, I got three thank yous. Oh, you get the habits challenge, the little thing. Um, so if you've been on Instagram, if you look at anything on from Kiki K on Instagram, um, they're doing a habits competition at the moment. So you fill this in, you take a picture of it, and you put it on Instagram and you could win some prizes so that's what that is um, then you've got your little welcome which I got three so I um, don't know why I got three but that's okay um, and it just says welcome um, hello or hey which is Swedish for hello thank you for your order we hope you enjoy your delicious purpose purchases which I promise you I will okay there we go so I'll just put the box on the ground I want to open this as gently as I can because I've always seen you guys or people on Facebook have um, packages that come with this paper but I've never actually had it myself because like I said I always buy in store and they don't tend to have this in store all that much so I'm trying to be careful with it but that's not really working. Okay, I might just have to tear this a little bit. There we go. No, still more tape. Let's get the knife out, that's much easier. There we go. Okay. So, what I have got in here. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so I have the new vision board kit, which I will show you in just a second. Um, so it's the new vision that vision board kit from the new inspiration range um, the new printed notepad from the cute range and the new stickers and tags and paper lovers book I'm so excited for these um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk through them one by one and show you what's in each of them and let you know what I think so I'm gonna start with the vision board kit I am going to update my vision board in the next couple of days. I've been waiting for this package to get here, so I will um, let, I will film that when I do it and I'll put it up for you guys to have a look at. Um, so as per normal, you get 10 pieces with this. So the first one is just really pretty blue that says Escape the Ordinary. They've got a really nice gold tinge to these, these ones, so they're really nice. Um, a rain cloud that says Tomorrow is Another Chance. Dream, believe, do, repeat. That's one that they've used before and I think I've got on my vision board at the moment, which, but I like that one. Um, find beauty in simplicity. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. Celebrate every victory. That is so true. If your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. Be yourself, everyone else is already taken. And then there's two clouds. You can always change direction and happiness is a habit, cultivate it. I'm definitely going to be using some of those on my new vision board, so I will um, link that one down below once I have done it, um, but it probably won't be up for a couple of days. And then you've got 
the new cute notepad. I'm just trying to find where I put my little knife. I really like the new cute range, but I've always been a fan of the cute ranges, so I'm probably a little bit biased. I do, if you saw my walkthrough of the new Paper Lovers book, the Van Scap one, that one's got a bit of this collection in the back of it, so I'm pretty sure it's sort of following along from what we've already seen, and I like the colours in there, so I'll just show you the pages in here. That one's really cute. I like that one with the blue spots bright bold one. Oh, those hearts are adorable. Oh, they're gorgeous. I love this. Um, got some like raindrops. I like that. I can use that, write it down somewhere. That's really cute. It's got like little um, leaves and flowers in yellow. Got some blue with some love. That kind of looks a little bit like the, the little plants out of the Right Your Own Tomorrow range. I like that. A little hello on some graph paper, some triangles. Oh, that one's my favourite. Not even going to beat that. Blue, anything blue or purple is good. A little magic can take you a long way. I love that quote and I love that they've put a quote on a piece of paper. That's awesome. Uh, XOXO, more hearts. So a little note with some dots. Some yay on some graphs. Some pretty peach and red. Some more graphs. Oh, that one's gorgeous too. I love blues. You guys should know that by now. I love blues and greens. And then we're back at the start again. So I really like that note notepad. You guys know I love notepads anyway. Um, but I'm I'm really liking that one. And I'm definitely going to use that. You know, if you've seen the way that I've been doing my planners lately, I've been writing out the AFL games for the whole week just on a sheet of this paper and just pinning it in. I can definitely see myself using some of those in that. So then we'll go into the sticker book. These two are the main reasons I got these, was for the sticker book and for the um, in the Paper Lovers book. I couldn't wait for them, I just couldn't wait till they came into store. So, um, so these are really with the new gold kind of range, I think. Oh, oh. Um, so if you've seen the inspiration sort of um, sticker book that I've done before, I'll link it down below so you guys can see it. Um, that you'll see these are kind of the same thing but with just a different color scheme so this has got a peach and a teal with a light blue and a, it's very distinctively gold rather than I think the last one was copper I'll just grab it so I can the live what you love one so yeah it, it, it was a bit more copper than this like I don't know I'm trying to find something that's actually got a bit more of the metallic I don't know if you guys can see that but that's sort of um, much more bronze and this is much more gold so that's the difference between the two so this is the first page there Ooh, love that love that that's really cool you've got some sealers there fall in love every day choose kindness ah oh, these are gorgeous love dream be happy create I love the shapes. I love when stickers aren't just round. And these look a lot like the Aldi stickers. Um, I did a, a walkthrough of that, which I'll link down below as well if you guys want to check it out. Um, that would tie in really nicely with those. Fall in love every day. Oh, I love that. Little toppers. I have no special talent. I'm only passionately curious. That's awesome. No matter pe what people tell you, words and ideas can change the world. In order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. So true. I love that they're starting to get new quotes in here. Like a, a little while ago, it sort of felt like they were using the same ones over and over again. I love that they're getting new ones. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. And then you've got some tags. And they're not all normal tags. Like you've got some that are the normal shaped tags. But then you've got some kind of... Um, she not chevron, but different shaped ones, sort of with the bottom there. So you've got one of the real gold ones, and then you've got one in the more pastel ones. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous. Oh, so in love with that right now. And last but not least is the beautiful Paper Lovers book, which from what I have seen online already, I know which... Um, Oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. I know which collections are in here already. I'm putting that in the bin. I'm trying to be neat and tidy in here. 
Um, so it's the same as the sticker book. It is, it's got like sticky stuff on the top, but that's okay. Um, it's got the, the gold and the pink on the front. So as per all the Paper Lovers book, it just opens up saying unleash the creativity and see, rediscover the beauty of paper. I already know the beauty of paper, I promise. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through each page. So we've got note paper here, dead fail. That's good. I like that. So you've got note paper all through here. Sorry, got stuck in my fingers. More note paper. And you've got some of the envelopes. And these are the same shapes as were in the Van Scuck one. So I really like these. Um, I used these just recently in one of my planner week planner weeks. Um, the Van Scat Week, which I'll link down below for you guys to have so you can see how it's actually made. Um, if you want to see a more in depth or a, not in depth, but just a, a video of that on its own so you don't have to watch the whole of the planner video, just let me know and I will do that for you. So then you've got some pattern paper here with some arrows, with some diamonds. That's that beautiful quote that we just said by Chanel, uh, Coco Chanel. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, I like those circles on the back. So then we've got, I don't quite know what this is. It is a pyramid display box. That's definitely new. Definitely new. I might have to, if you guys want to see me make this, let me know and I will definitely get to that. So then we've got some cupcake toppers. I will not use those for cake, cupcake toppers, but I like that they're there. Got some alphabet stickers. You guys might have noticed, and I don't know if you noticed as much as I did, but this was actually missing in the Van Scap sticker book, they didn't have the alphabet stickers, so I'm glad that they've gone back to them. And you've got my weekly goals list, I will definitely be using those, I'll photocopy those and use them till the cows come home. Uh, we've got a gift box, which we've seen before, some labels, and then some stickers. Using that beautiful gold, so the same as in the um, actual sticker book. Oh, I can see so many things I'm going to use this for. Uh, and you got some cards and some note cards. So these are the sort of things that you can definitely use on your vision board if that's what you want to do with them. Now, otherwise, they're obviously really good to put in your planner as well. So then you've got two big quote cards here. Your dreams are real, go after them. And what you do every day matters more than what you do once in a while. That one's definitely going on the vision board. And we've got some gift tags and some bunting. I may have to use that bunting. And then just some mini cardboard cutouts. So these are also really good to put on your vision board, which I'll show you guys when I get to that. So then it moves into the next range, which is the Write Your Own Tomorrow range. You guys know already I adore this range. I think it's beautiful. You got some note paper coming in the first. Oh my God, that envelope is amazing. Oh yeah. That is beautiful. I love that really deep navy blue. Man, I wish that was around when I did my navy blue week a couple of weeks ago. And then we've got some pattern paper. Again, beautiful navy. Oh, this is going to be one I'm going to buy two of. That's not good. Beautiful reds. Oh, this is new. What have we got? We've got a DIY paper bow. Let me know if you want me to make that one and I will have to do that because it... I don't quite know how that works. I think it might be like a folding paper bow. Let me know if you want to see this one and I'll do that on camera for you. Then you've got some paper leaves to use um, as little tags. They're really pretty. I like those. And then we've got a DIY flower decoration. That's really pretty. I like that. Then we've got some greeting cards. And this is what I love when they do things like this. They haven't put anything on the pages that are going to be pulled out. So in some of the early Paper Lovers books, they put like a pattern paper on the back and that made it impossible to actually then use it. Like this one wouldn't be so bad because you've got like a good half of the page that you could use. But they've actually just left these blank, which now I really like that they're doing that. Like leaving it red like that is fine and this one's white. but. It means you don't have a piece of paper you can't use because you're tearing it apart. So I, I like that they've done that. 
And you got some more greeting cards and some more note cards. That is beautiful. Oh. Some more gift tags and some stickers. Oh, beautiful. So this is what, not, you could use this. I've never actually finished a page of stickers, so I don't know if you can actually pull this page out, but something like that. When you finish with the stickers, you can obviously cut that out and use any of this in your planner or decorating if you wanted to. But you can't use it until all your stickers are gone because you can't pull that page apart. Do you guys get what I mean by that? So it's, it's not a waste of a page, but it's a page that you can't use until you've used what's on the other side. It's just things that, they don't annoy me. I think they're gorgeous, but you sort of go, well, it's a waste of a page. So you've got some labels there. And this is the last range that's in here. This is the one that a lot of people have been very excited about on Facebook because they think we're going to get a pink range. I don't actually think we will. I think this will be a little bit like one of the other Paper Lovers books. I think it was the cute one. Um, just hold on, I'll just grab it because it's just over here. Um, like this teal range at the back, the teal and the black, we never got a full range of that. So I'm thinking that this is going to be a little bit like this range at the back here. It's just an extra one to put in there, but we're never actually going to see a full range of it. I, I'm happy to be proven wrong and for the sake of everybody that I know wants one, I really hope this does become a full range, but I don't think it will. I think we've seen enough new ranges in the last couple of weeks especially with this new one being launched um so this is your first bit you got some pattern paper very geometric very bright Ooh, yeah this is going to go really well with one of the sticker books i found the other week i can use a, a black and pink kind of week so more pattern paper some note paper here again really geometric kind of shapes i like this so a bit less bright except for that side. That'll be a really cute envelope. And what have we got here? We've got a DIY paper gem. So this is in a different shape than the ones we've made before. So that would be new. We've got some greeting cards here. And some note cards. Always be creating. That's me. Then you've got some big quote cards. Stay true, go and do. Quite honestly, I'm not going to use them on my um oh you got two page two of them um fun and let's let's do what we love and do a lot of it by mark jacobs that's cool i um, won't be using those on my vision board it's just they're too bright I, i'll definitely be a more muted tones i think with this next one and um, some little gift tags and then some bunting and then you've got your two bits of wrapping paper so you've got one bit from the b no, the, I want to say be brave all the time with this range. Um, the write your own tomorrow and then one with the pink. So that is the new Paper Lovers book. How do I feel? How do I feel? I don't, I'm not jumping out of my skin. Like, I am, no, but I am. I am jumping out of my skin. It's, 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 it's how do you explain this? I love what's in it. I'm, I'm a little underwhelmed by the pink. I'll admit I, it's a little bit too pink for me. But the other two are gorgeous. Like, oh my god, gorgeous. Um, I love the sticker book. I can't wait for this entire range to come out with the notes. Really excited with that. And then I'm really excited to do my vision board actually. So I will be doing that in the next couple of weeks. I think I've said that about 8,000 times. So that is it for this little Kiki K haul. How do I feel about buying online? I'm really happy with it. Um, I do enjoy the experience of going to Kiki K though. So I don't think I'll be buying online all that often. But now that I don't live right near one, like I, used to, I haven't lived near one for a while, but I work near one. Um, so I could just pop in all the time. Now I can't do that. It's it's a good 45 minutes in either direction to get to a Kiki K. So to be able to get it sent with free postage if you spend over $50 and then with the 20% off, like I think this came to $79 total and with the discount it came to something like $59 so or $55. I don't remember. But I, you, you, can't, you can't be upset with that. Like to save... 
basically I got that got the note paper for free basically so you can't argue with that everything here is exactly what I want I love the new paper lovers book I really hope you guys enjoy it um, and as I said I'm going to be using bits of this new one to do my vision board in the next couple of days so keep your eye out um, I am going to be doing lots of videos in the next couple of days I have a lot to share with you so keep your eyes peeled um, if you haven't already now is a great time to subscribe so please do that um, if you haven't already checked out my Instagram and you have Instagram I will link that down below for you if you did like this video please give it a big thumbs up so I know you enjoy them and otherwise guys I will see you again really really soon thanks a lot bye